Hi, welcome to the course of engineer designing from theory to practical. This is module number seven. In this video lecture, I've covered the interface of one of the electromagnetic simulation software that I will be using in this course to guide you people how to design the antennas and also how to analyze the performance parameters of it. I'm using the 2018 version of CST Microwave Studio and this is the full version software. So let's start. Once you open the CST Studio store, you will be see this window and in which we need to define the template. This project template is based on our application. For example, we need to define antenna for Wi-Fi, WLAN, WiMAX, Bluetooth, 5G, 4G, any application according to that only we need to define the project template in this video I uh, defined I will be defining a template on 5g basically and mainly the frequency range will be going to be changed like uh, in case of Bluetooth it will be 2.45 gigahertz only so for that I will be giving a frequency range of uh, 2 to 5, 3 or even uh, 2.5, 2.2 to 3.2, whatever it is, and in case of 5G, I will be defining 20 to 40, and even we can go with the higher as well since uh, 5G has a band of uh, 60 gigahertz, 80 gigahertz as well. So mainly the template in the project template, the frequency range will be going to be changed only. So let's start. Click on the new template, and uh, since CST Studio is a all-in-one package, so which provides you a different platform in order to analyze the problem and also set up your model accordingly. So here we have a microwave RF and optical, ED electronics, EMC, MI, charge particle dynamics, statics and low frequency. So as per our course objective, we need to design an antenna. So we will be selecting microwave RF and optical option. Click on it and then we need to select antennas. After that, click on next and uh, in the beginning, we will, be, we will be designing plan, uh, patch antenna basically microchip patch antenna so we will be selecting planar option and the next CST should provide different types of uh, solvers like time domain, frequency domain, eigen mode solver are there, asymptotic solvers are there, multi layer software is there so it depends on our application only so by default I am selected uh, time domain only and as you can also see it is suggested that to use for, for wideband antennas, multiband antennas and in case of frequency domain it is said that a uh, resonant antenna should be you should be solved with the help of frequency domain so I am using time domain only since uh, it will consider as a band only or multiband or band or even case of uh, narrowing so click on next these are the default units that is considered by the CST Microwave Studio and like patch length, width and all it is considered in millimeter frequency is by default considered as a gigahertz time is defined as a nanoseconds temperature is defined as Kelvin and so and so each and every parameter is having some by default units which is considered by the software so I will be leaving this like so click on next and uh, here we have to define our frequency range like uh, 26 to 40 so I have select uh, this is mainly for uh, frequency for uh, 5G since it will cover 28 as well 36 as well and 38 as well so we can define it accordingly as per that so uh, monitors are the fields that will be evaluated over the antenna and it will be visible after the simulation and under the 3D section. So uh, we need to define that is fields, different types of fields that is E field, H field, power field, power flow and power loss as well. So here you can see that 33 gigahertz is written in between of 26 to 40. So why it's considered to be 33 only? Why not 34, 35? So 33 is nothing but the center frequency. So also these monitors, whatever I have defined, E field, far fields. So it will define the 
by default it will be going to define over these three frequencies that is 26 33 and 40 manually we can define on 27 as well 28 as well 28.2 28.5 so we can define it as well but remember that manually we should define the frequency that lies between the minimum and maximum range only uh, here also we can define it just like uh, writing 28 and then terminating with the semicolon so by default it will be defining the fields at 28 as well we can define it in the project as well just like the units we can define in the middle of the designing process like we need uh, like if we are designing any very large structure which is in meter as well as centimeter as well in case of meter is very too large uh, so centimeter we can change as well so units and frequency both are can be both can be changed in in the middle of the designing as well so 28 uh, if, if i remove here from 28 uh, i will be defining you over there so so let's say like uh, 28 left I will left over here so that uh, you can get an idea of it that uh, software will be considering that 28 as well in order to define the fields and also I will be setting up one of the uh, other fields like 32 36 38 in the manual age in order to get you visualize the software and getting hands-on practice more that. so clicking on the next it is the preview of the template what whatever we have defined till now like the frequency like the solvers and the range as well so i will be clicking on the finish button because i'm satisfied with it so accordingly the software will define the workspace and the template as well so this is the work plane of the cst micro studio where whatever the design whatever the components whatever the structure we will be defining it will be reflected over here only and in the left side and in the left side we have a navigation tree in which uh, it is having components groups materials faces curves wcs anchor points wires and so on also the results which will be plotted after the simulation only so in the navigation tree whatever the components we will be defining like patch ground substrate it will be reflected over here as well as the ports as well as the materials it will be reflected materials whatever like uh, if we have created a new material so it will be reflected over here only and also the results uh, which i have told you like 1d results 2d results 3d results it will be defining under these categories only but it will be defining over uh, only when we will be uh, we have created a simulation properly so First of all, I would like to tell there are different types of uh, options available like home, modeling, simulation, post processing and view. In the, under the home tab, we have units like I have told. Whatever the by default units is considered, we can change it in the middle of the project. Uh, and also the solvers, Eigen mode solvers and frequency domain solvers, integral equation solver, as in project solver, whatever we have, we can define it as per the as per the application. And for the start simulation is when we have come when we have satisfied with our design and whatever we want to analyze like uh, fields at what frequency, and then only we will be say, clicking on this button. And for the optimizer is there. Uh, whatever the results we need to optimize like uh, parameters also we can optimize like length is there width is there and similarly parametric sweep is is somewhat uh, similar to optimizer but in this parametric sweep suppose we need to say we need to have a return loss of minus 30 db so based on that minus 30 i have suppose created a parametric sweep over a patch length basically like the from 3 to 5 mm so according to that uh, it will be defining the uh, performing the it uh, repetitive simulations and finding the finding that value in between of 3 to 5 mm 
in which minus 30 s11 and minus 30 or less than minus 30 is possible for based on that it will be giving that value only so mesh view is nothing but uh, mesh view is uh, cst consider mesh view as by default only stamp and uh, properties we have uh, properties of object what kind of object we are implemented over there and the history list history list is nothing but uh, what the steps we have done till yet so the first step we have done over here is the template so template we have defined of uh, planar that is patch and enum so that is uh, reflected over here so when we are click on the surface or the squares it it will be reflected over here and then macros are there macros is nothing but the different types of uh, options which are available for ease of the user in order to calculate some values for the structure like in case of uh, so like uh, we can calculate a uh, solver uh, like a uh, port dimension as well like uh, clicking on solvers then ports then clicking calculate port with extension option so based on that we can evaluate then come to modeling modeling we can say that whatever the model we need to create according to that we can use this model modeling option also we can import the redefine models from other softwares as well with the help of uh, this import and export option we can import that as all uh, and also we can export that uh, model which we have created over here as a 2d and 3d files as well so material library material library is nothing but uh, whatever the materials like dialect materials FR4 is there, epoxy, Rogers, whatever we need to define, we can define by like clicking on material library, then load from material library will be opening. And here we, we, will, we will be defining the materials we want, like Rogers in case of so each and every substrate or the dialectic which I should say that uh, material is available will be reflected over here. And accordingly, we will be giving. So next uh, new and edit is nothing but uh, whatever any new material which is not available pre, uh, by default in the material library we can define over here by giving some new properties material name and the epsilon that is permittivity that is permeability we can give here as well conductivity we need to define each and every aspect then. So here we have a different shape we have different shapes 2d 3d structures are there which can be used in order to create our structures and also these are the tools which can be implemented over these uh, shapes like uh, we need to add the two, sub uh, two surfaces, two structures or we need to substrate, uh, subtract one component to other so we can do that with the help of this and it will be some of this you will see that uh, it is not um, applicable why because we haven't implemented any uh, structure or the surfaces over here in the over the work plane so that is that's why it is not applicable here now here we have a uh, curves if we want to create a uh, polygon and if any closed loop or the open loops we can use with the help of a curves option then the pick point are there whenever we have to create any uh, specific points uh, or uh, when you have, whenever we have to create uh, any points uh, like uh, whenever I need to create uh, uh, whenever I need to pick uh, certain points like corner points, mid points or center points so with the help of that uh, I can pick uh, with this help option uh, with this option like pick face, pick, pick edge, pick midpoint and everything is available. So also I will suggest you to please uh, memorize it these shortcuts like uh, F, uh, E is there so in order to get convenient more better way and in a more faster way as well. So however 
I will suggest you to don't uh, pressurize yourself in order to memorize it. Just uh, if you don't memorize it, uh, uh, no issue, and uh, you will get uh, uh, practiced uh, once you will keep designing the antennas or keep practicing this software. You will get to know it. So history list, as I have already told, under the home section, history is nothing but the whatever the steps we have performed till now, uh, it will be reflected over the history list as well and uh, also history list is very much uh, good in, uh, and convenient in order to modify the designs like suppose we have created some steps and designs are created with the help and these designs have been created with the help of a uh, number of steps so I have to remove something in middle of thing but so that can be performed directly with the help of history list I can go to history list and will be deleted that particular step from that list. Now for the WCSS, WC is nothing but the coordinates that is called a local coordinates. Here you can see in the workplace that is X, Y and Z we have a global coordinates basically. And in the case of uh, local coordinates it will create a, it will change the origin accordingly. And I will be using local coordinates as well because it will be very very easy for a designer in order to design that in a fast way and in a more convenient way so that not only an uh, expert can understand this uh, but also any a new person can also easily understand how it is defined or how it is designed so from the next video as well I will be defining uh, the local coordinates and will be giving you more elaborative way explanation on it so that you can visualize it in a more better way now in the simulation menu we have uh, different options related to the results we want to see related to the range of what we want to see on the range of a particular range we want to see the results over there so as i have told the frequency frequency which i have defined over there like 26 to 40 hertz that is for 5g so as i have told that it can be changed in the middle of the design as well so it can be changed with the help of uh, frequency option under the simulation menu and we can define it accordingly now there are different ports so any antenna if we have designed so that antenna needs to be energized so for that purpose we define some port because of which the ports will the energy will be uh, transferred to this antenna and the antenna will be going to radiate accordingly so it uh, the different type of ports depend on different type of application different different types of uh, the structure like uh, in case of uh, microchip line i used uh, wavefight port and uh, there are times there are times when discrete ports are or port are also there lump port are also used and so on now in case of field monitors Field monitors we can define whatever like uh, the fields at the particular frequency we need to define we can define it like I need to define 28 and uh, 28 and 29 so I can define it here over here like I will be defining like on 20 so let's suppose 38 because it is uh, another 5g allocated back so I will be defining like apply then I will selecting H field and surface color then I will click apply and then for field RC then I will click apply so uh, accordingly we will be clicking over here we will be selecting our the our uh, uh, type of the fields we want to see we want to analyze accordingly we can see that here over here now further if you look uh, on the navigation tree under the field monitor section 28 is also defined at 28 gigahertz E field, H field, power loss, everything is also defined. So that is the, that is also the another way we can define the fields and uh, in case of template only. But uh, there are times we need to analyze more and more at uh, more specifically in the uh, frequency. So with that option, we are more uh, more uh, handful and more uh, easier to define some uh, field monitor as well. Now parametric uh, parameters we pan optimizer have already defined you will and uh, 
global properties and electrical connections are more just like a between in the schematic view when we are working on the schematic like just a case of uh, here when we are defining some electrical circuits over here some components passive and active components we will be defining then only we will be using these that option and uh, in that case when we are working upon schematic uh, options so it will have some different options as well and different analysis we need to define so our work since it's a basic course i cannot include any, uh, much more and uh, so that you people can also not get bored so that's why i'm not uh, going into this much more and will be defining and working on 3d aspect only so after that uh, we will be coming upon the post processing then post processing is nothing but uh, the results we want to see and the results we want to export for further analysis import and export like also there is option is also there but uh, here it is again you will see that uh, nothing is applicable since uh, I, have, we, I haven't any uh, results which is plotted by this software or since there is no structure there is no simulation so that's why these options are not applicable as well I will be defining each and everything uh, so don't worry about it and also I assure you people that uh, learning software skills is much more interested rather than giving some theoretical but yeah theoretical since theoretical is plays a vital role in case of uh, forming the foundation since uh, based on that only we will be working over here software so the, uh, software is uh, not more important if you do not have any fundamentals so also from this uh, video onwards you will be learning much more uh, practically and also getting much more practical exposure as well now in the last i will have a view option in which uh, whatever uh, there are different types of option like a copy view export image hide and hide and also the work plane if i want to modify the work plane how to look it like uh, if i don't want to see this uh, grids i will remove it if I do not want to see this mounting box, I will uncheck it. It will be going, and also I will not uh, want to see this uh, axis. Then I will going to uncheck it. Otherwise, uh, it will be keeping around it. And also dimensions, like uh, patch length, we can verify it with the help of dimensions. Uh, I will explain it um, in a much more way, in a much more easier way in the later on when I will be designing the antennas, and then zoom uh, there are rotate option we can rotate like here we can rotate also there are options activate the pan mode so that we can drag it over here we can rotate it over here we can even rotate like this we can tilt like this each and everything is available so that too. we can analyze it we can check our model whether it is perfect or not whether it is connected or not so that any error will not be occurred in, while running the simulation so i hope you have uh, got a cleared view over this software at a somewhat clear uh, perspective over this software and uh, Trust me, and you will you will get to know a better way from the next video when I will be designing the antenna basic patch antenna designing for which the equations, the dimensions which I have calculated either for substrate, either for crown, either for patch, as well as the field, I have included in the next video. You people can check, and also I assure you, I will again say that I will assure you that. You will going to learn much more thing in this uh, software as well and also you will be able to visualize that theoretically in terms of practical way so so at last i will conclude this video and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this uh, any suggestions any comments I will welcome definitely and uh, whatever the doubts you people have just contact me and you can post it uh, as well and 
definitely move to further if you have not bored till now so just move to further and something interesting is waiting for you people in the next video thank you thanks a lot god bless